Okay, I'm about to do my first ever service on my Volvo Penta uh, D4 300s. So the first thing you need is going to be a diesel filter. The second thing you need is going to be your oil filter. Third thing is your bypass oil filter. Fourthly, you're going to need a crankcase breather. And uh, in terms of tools, you're going to need a oil filter wrench. I got this one from Halfords for seven pound. So I simply put them on and wrench it off. Uh, you're also going to need a 7 16 spanner to open up the bleed nipple once you've changed your diesel filter to bleed any air out. And you're also going to need the all important oil extractor it's a vacuum oil extractor so it's easy to use okay so first things first let's start the engine up and warm her up Okay, once the engines are warmed up, or engine is warmed up, you need to make sure that you turn off your fuel. So go to your fuel terminal system and turn it off. And now we're ready to rig up to start pumping out our oil. That's so simple, believe me. You take your hose with the appropriate size, you pull out your dipstick, Put the hose in through the dipstick hole down to the pan feed it in then plug it into your extractor and simply pump away so pumping up it's a vacuum pump so pump it up to pressure and you'll know that because you'll stop hearing the tss noise. There we are, it's gone. And straight away you can see the oil is starting to pump out. So now that we're doing that, you can now set about taking off your oil filter. Okay, another tip is to uh, have yourself a plastic bag so you don't make so much mess. Just put the bag over the filter, run it all the way down to the skirt, and then simply twist it off by hand, pull her out, tip her upside down, put her straight in the bag, tie her up, and put it in the bag, which I've tied onto the other side of the engine, and put her straight in there so it doesn't make any mess. So I'm going to put on my oil filter first. My oil filter goes to the back. It's easy to know which one it is because this is the bigger one of the threads. As you can see, the big thread to the big thread. This one is a smaller thread, which is your bypass filter. So now I'm going to take a little bit of oil. I've got a clean finger and just put it around that seal to give us a nice seal. And so it goes on easy. And as it says on the filter, you're supposed to do it up by hand tight and half a turn. Half a turn once you get by hand tight. So here we go. Same system with the bypass filter. Okay, so very simple. That's your oil filters changed. So before you take or even attempt to take off the uh, diesel filter, uh, you have to take off the uh, connecting blade to the bottom of the filter, which is essentially a water sensor. And it's as simple as that. There it is. So that now clipped off. We can now go ahead and take the filter off.
Okay, the next stage is once you've got the old filter out, transfer the sensor to here. Leave the wrapping on because obviously you want to protect the seal and then go about taking the uh, sensor off and then putting it on to the new filter. Okay, I've taken it off from the old one and now simply just screw it on. It's very simple as you can see. Just screw it back in to the new filter. So hand tight and then you're done. Once the filter's on, grab hold of your connector for the sensor, push in the clip and push her on, simply. I'm now going to turn the diesel back on and start the process of bleeding. Okay, now I need to bleed the system. And you can see the diesel coming out, hopefully with air, as it fills up the filter. So during that process, I've just decanted my first six liters uh, with the oil extractor. I'm now extracting the last of the oil into the oil extractor. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to change the crankcase filters. So that's the old one which I've taken out from there. And now I'm going to put the new one back in, or the new one in, which is this one. And also the kit comes with a spare seal for the cap and the seal goes in there. So I'll change that too. Okay, now for the moment of truth, it's time to start up the engines with everything completed. <laughs> 